Today, we're doing a setup tour. Let's get it. Before we hop into this, I just want to let you guys know that everything I mentioned will be linked in the description down below. It is Amazon Associates, so if you do buy anything from Amazon through the links down below, your boy gets a kickback. Anyways, appreciate it. Well, let's get it. All right, so you walk into my streaming room. This is what you see. It's my desk. This is my girlfriend's desk. Rocking the three monitor setup. Before we go into all that, I want to go over here and kind of show you guys what I got in the background. We got a jellyfish and the Twitch logo. And then we got some posters back here. This is Juice World. This is a Juice World poster. And then I also have a painting of downtown St. Paul in Minnesota. Next, we have some shelving. Up here, I have an older controller. Well, not older. I used it for like a week and it broke. But this is a Battle Beaver. The left trigger broke. This is a DJI FPV drone. It's actually pretty freaking sick. I've been messing around with it in the off season, getting some cool footage. Definitely a hobby of mine. Um, and then we kind of just have storage. You probably can't even see it, but we got some camera gear, lenses, bunch of crap. That's a planet and yeah. All right, On to the fun part. So starting off with the absolute base of any setup, having a good chair. This is the Respawn Spectre. Honestly, I had back problems with other chairs, but this one has done me right. Next, we're gonna go into my controller. I have Xbox Elite Series 2 controllers. This is actually their newer one. This is the Core, the Elite 2 Core. Only difference is it's white. Um, I rock three paddles on the back. Like I said, the only difference between these two controllers is this one's white. Um, I think it was like $40 less because it doesn't come with like the accessories in the back, but I already had them, so I didn't need it. This is a HyperX mouse. This is called the Pulsefire Haste. No complaints, like I said, I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't play mouse and keyboard. Going along that tangent, I also have a HyperX 60% keyboard. Just doesn't have the end. It's nice, it's like good tactile mechanical keyboard. After that, the headphones I have are the DT990 Pros. Great pair of headphones, audio quality is god tier. All right, next we have my microphone. Um, this mic is called the Beacon Mic. It goes along with that over there, which I will show you guys in a second, but it tries to re resemble the SM7B. It does a pretty good job in my opinion. Very hard to peek it, so when I scream when I'm playing Call of Duty, it doesn't distort the sound at all, which is very nice. It is on a PSA1 boom arm from Rode, a Rode PSA1, I believe. It's a really good boom arm. I got it used. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. Next, I guess we'll go monitors. This monitor and this monitor are both 27 inch monitors. This one's obviously horizontal. This one is not, but these monitors are really old. They are Dell 27 inch. They're cheapos. They're, they were old monitors. This is my gaming monitor. This is an Asus or Asus tough gaming monitor. Again, it'll be linked down below. Love it, 240 Hertz, 1080p. It's a 24 and a half, I believe. If I'm wrong again, I'll throw it up on the screen. Next, I have my stream deck. I have a few pages on my stream deck. See if I can get in here. That is Viz's face. Just basically has all my commands, switching cameras, switching scenes, makes streaming pretty easy. My record button, so if I wanna be recording a gameplay and streaming at the same time. All right, next, this is my audio interface. So this is very similar to a Go XLR. This is called a Beacon Mix Create. Basically what it allows me to do is control everything on my computer. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So this knob turns up my music. This is my chat, so like this is Discord volume. I can turn my game up and down. Um, system and then I have like this controls Chrome if I scrolled if I scroll down and I can control more I can control up to eight makes streaming really easy also when I'm recording all of my audio tracks are separated so if I want to cut out my teammate yelling in the middle of a game I don't have to cut out my game volume as well all right so I'll go over some accessories this is a cheap Logitech mouse pad just a big long mouse pad this is a ring light I have for my setup I've used this since I started streaming with a face cam and it is held up. It was like $10 on Amazon. If you guys want to make 
a bad webcam a bad webcam look good get that because it's so easy plug it in turn it on lights up your face and you look 10 times better i'm currently using the camera that would be on this camera mount but this is a small rig camera mount if i'm not mistaken i might be so i'll throw that up on the screen anyways this is what kind of you guys see from this mount so this would be like my streaming setup Anyways, so the camera I'm using, which would be on this mount, is the Sony a6400. Great camera, shoots in 4K, I've shot vlogs on it, and it makes a great face cam. The thing with this camera is you have to get an Elgato 4K60 Pro, which I have plugged into my PC, which, speaking of which, anyways, this is my PC, it's kind of locked away, I can't really get a good, I'll throw in some B-roll shots of me looking at it right now. For my CPU, I'm rocking the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. And then on top of that, I'm rocking the Nvidia 3070. And then, like I said, I will have my PC build linked in the description down below. I'm trying to think if I forgot something. I don't, oh wait, yeah, I did. All right, so in the back, like I said, don't look at the cables. This is my Xbox Series S. And then I also have an Elgato HD60X, I believe, an Elgato HD60X. Anyways, that is it for this video. I think that's it for the setup. Except, wait, wait, wait. Make sure you're subscribed. Get it. <laughs> Yo, wait, why was that? Why was that slide kind of clean?